everybody, welcome to the Not So Shy Chef. I am Sherry Shy, your Not So Shy Chef. And today we have a special guest, my daughter. Hi there. Tara is with us today. And Tara is one of my pastry chefs here at Shy Cellars. I have Chef Tara and I have Chef Lori. And today, you and Chef Lori are going to be showing us something that people ask us all the time for. Mm -hmm. And that is? Scones. We love scones. And your scones are awesome. We try. I mean, I'm used to scones that are, you know, always been kind of dry and mm -hmm. hard and a little bit heavier in texture, mm -hmm. which is a traditional scone. Correct. You know, the tea time scone from from your um, your English cheese. Yes. But what I love about Tara's and Lori's is they're light, they're fluffy, they're airy. They they don't need clotted cream. Exactly. Or Ugh. Devonshire cream. As yes, we Devonshire can call it. cream. <laughs> I don't Sounds like, a little bit more I appetizing. Know, I that don't way. like that name, clotted cream. No. But so we're going to teach you today how to make Chef Tara and Chef Lori's awesome scones. We're going to teach you how to make Devonshire cream, mm -hmm. and we're just going to talk and have fun in here in the kitchen. And I can hardly wait to eat. Like and that's the best part. That is the best part. <laughs> so don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Chef Lori was going to be coming in here soon, and she's going to teach us how to use big red here make the perfect scone, batter, dough, whatever you want to call it. See, that's why I'm not a pastry chef. It's all right. I just it's call it whatever. You get to enjoy it. That's all that matters. That's exactly right. All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. What are you hungry for? How about Italian from Pangrazio's Pizza and Spaghetti House? Too far to travel? Not with two convenient locations at 223 West 3rd Street in Dover and 219 Grand Street in Denison. Not enough time? Both locations are open Tuesday through Sunday for dine-in or carry-out. Don't know what they have or what the hours are? No problem. Visit their website at pangraziospizza.com. Hi, I'm 1450 WJER's Bill Morgan inviting you to join me on television Wednesday evenings at 7 and Friday afternoons at 5 for TV2 Sports Talk. Sports Talk is your weekly look inside high school football, volleyball, soccer, and more. Look for guest appearances from your favorite area coaches and players. TV2 Sports Talk, Wednesday evenings at 7 and Friday afternoons at 5 on DMG Channel 2 on Time Warner Cable. Well, welcome back everybody. I am Chef Sherry, your not so shy chef. And now I have Chef Lori Elvin with me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> chef Lori is my, uh, my other pastry chef we have here at Shy Cellars. And let me tell you, if you have not been to Shy Cellars and had Chef Lori and Chef Tara's desserts, you don't know what you're missing. Especially Chef Lori's cheesecakes. Like that is like something that everybody just loves. Am I right? Oh, yeah, I love them. You get requests. I, all the time. <laughs> and we're talking today about the scones because that's mm -hmm. something else that we get a lot of requests for. Yes, we do. Um, we do orders for people. So they can come in, they can order things. Um, your scones are something that people love. And we were talking, Tara and I was talking about it because earlier that ours are so different. They're not hard and, you know, doing one of these numbers is, you know, they're hard, they're crunchy. They're not like that. No. Yours are light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Why? I just think it's because we just use, we stick with one egg. Mm. That really helps keep the batter light. And when you're mixing it, we don't over mix. Okay, so Tara was telling me about this because she was saying how when you let the machine do all of the work, you mm -hmm. can't feel it. No. And that's where it starts to develop a little bit too much gluten, right? Yes. All right, so it. tell me about this. You're doing a sweet scone today, not a savory. Yes. And this batter, she said, could be used either or. Oh, yes. You can use it for a sweet or you can use it for a savory. Yes. Okay, so tell me what you're going to do. All right. How this, we, is, this is like your favorite oh, this thing. Is my Other friend. than your husband, yeah. this is your <laughs> this closest friend. This is my friend. closest friend. <laughs> Besides this one and her daughter. Like, so tell me what we're doing today. We okay, got lots this is of good our stuff. base. And I okay. call this a base because you can put anything 
after this. Okay. This is just a standard base. And, and this is a, you, you corrected me earlier, I said it was a batter. And she says, no, it's not a batter, it's a... It is a dough. Dough, dough. because we... Because we're, we're using our hands. It's like, it's like making bread. Not like making pancakes. In. No, no. Where it's Batters, like batter. you can pour. Or cake. Or cake batter, yes. That's why I'm not a pastry chef. <laughs> I leave it to the experts. All right, teach me a wise one. Okay, How well, we, we are, are gonna do the opposite of making a batter. We're not okay. going to cream first, we are going to put the dry in first. And oh. here we have... So usually we're like when we do cookies or I've seen you do cakes and stuff, you actually cream your sugar and your butter together. Yes. So you don't do that here? No, we're doing the opposite. Okay. We're going to start with dry. Okay. And then we're going to incorporate the dry, which is all-purpose flour. Okay. We have baking soda, baking, yeah, powder, I'm sorry. Salt. And this is fine salt. Okay. And then we have granulated sugar. Mm. Okay. So we're going to take these ingredients and we are going to incorporate them together. Okay. So we used all-purpose flour, not a bread flour, because no. we don't want that heaviness that a bread flour Correct. would have. It has too much gluten in it. Yes. So you've got your, you said, uh, baking powder, which is your levering, uh, levering agent. Yes. Got some salt that's going to help with that. Yes. Some sugar, because there's sugar's sugar is always good. Sugar is always good. I love the ingredients. This is such a basic recipe. This is something that even I can do. And right. all you're doing is just you're making just sure everything that in. Yes. Everything has to be incorporated. Okay. Perfect. And we're mixing it well. And then we are going to add the butter next. We are going to cut the butter into the flour. Okay. Now explain to everybody along with me, when you say cut flour, you were, you were trying to explain this to me earlier mm -hmm. because I think creaming, everything has to be creamed. And you said, no. It's the opposite. It's the opposite because you're trying to do the, um, we're trying to make a crumbled like a dough. We're making a dough. A dough, you cut the butter into it. Batter, you want to start with cream and then you add gotcha. the flour after. Okay. So we're looking for a crumbled dough. Okay. So we're Got going to start it. with the butter. It's much easier if I just let her do this <laughs> and I just watch. And then we're going to throw some shortening. All right. So you have butter and shortening. We do. Okay. Is that another one of your secrets to why yours I are so fluffy? I think it is. <laughs> I think it is. All right, so here's what we're doing, and we want to be able to show everybody this. Because yes. I think this is really, really um, important and interesting. Mm -hmm. As a chef, I'm so used to throwing things together and just having it all come together, where you, in baking, it's a science. There's steps that you have to follow. Correct. Yes. All right. I mean, there's only a couple things that you can tweak. Okay. But most you have to follow it to the T. So when you get that to the point, I want to stop and I want to show everybody what this looks like. All right. Let's show I'm a this. visual person. I need to see that. So I want you to see that so that you understand as well. Let's show them this. All right. So they can see. So look down inside here. You see what this looks like? How she's got these little crumbs. Like there's the little chunks of butter right there. That's what, that's what you want it to look like, right? That's correct. Okay. So I'm going to give this back to you, ma'am. Okay. See, I don't even know how to put that together. I don't use it, so I don't know. <laughs> I tried using it one time. I got in trouble. <laughs> we won't talk about All right. We won't talk about those things. <laughs> all right. So now we have that. We have that. And all as right. you're doing this and mixing it well, so all the butter is incorporated. Okay. I'm going to take the one egg mm -hmm. and the heavy cream. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I am actually going to... And you're putting your egg in your bowl. I am. Instead of doing what I sometimes have done is cracking it here, adding it here, and then going, oh, where's that eggshell? <laughs> Bad habit if you go too fast. Sometimes. Yes, so good. good we don't thing want to do. that. All right, so what are you doing? You're I'm going to beat the egg just a little bit here. Okay. And then I'm actually going to add it to the cream. Oh. And just mix it up just a little bit. Okay. Again, so you're not over beating the dough. Correct. Because that is the key, is not to overbeat that dough. As Tara was saying, how that's what's going to make it tougher. And as this is still mixing, I'm going to move this down to a slow. Actually, that was. That was slow. My that was slow. Oh, so you're just slowing. Okay, I see what you're saying. You're slowing, slowly pouring that in. Mm -hmm. Unlike me, I would and just dump it all. From this point now, you don't want to take your eye off of it. Okay. You are going to mix this. Oh, and I see it how forms. it is. It's literally pulling aside off of the edges. Mm -hmm. That's it. See That's the it. crumbles in the bottom. Nice and simple. As soon as it starts picking that up, 
Done. You're done. Perfect. And then you're done. That's when you stop it. All right. No. I want. I want to show everybody this as well. Don't even take that off the batter. Or yeah, you can take that off. But I want to show them here. Look at this. So here's what it did. Look at that. This just came right up. And that's as simple as that. That yes. took you less than 30 seconds. Yes. To mix that because we don't want. Um, we don't want to overbeat it. No. Okay. I'm going to give this back to you. Okay. Where you can get that and take all that off. I'll clean this up for you. Okay. Now our next step is going to be to get our board out here mm -hmm. and flour. Yes. And Tara. Yes. We need her. <laughs> we need Chef Tara. So <laughs> Chef Tara is going to be coming back. She's going to show us how to form the dough, roll yes. the dough out, mm -hmm. incorporate the fruit or whatever it is she's adding to it. Could and be a surprise. I know it could be. I That's know. the best thing about you bakers. It's always a surprise. Nobody ever knows. I know. <laughs> Good All right, well stay tuned. Don't go anywhere because you don't want to miss this part. This is where all the the good fruit that she's going to add gets gets done and the cutting. The secret to the cutting. There's a secret to this. Secret you guys everything. have you guys have secrets. We do. I am finding that out. But your secrets are delicious. All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Elaine Miller with Naturally Green Cleaning Service. My company serves both commercial and residential clients. We do general cleaning, spring and fall, empty homes to get them move-in ready, and final cleans for new construction. We use eco-friendly cleaning products that leave your home or office fresh, clean, and safe for you, your family, pets, or coworkers. Our focus at Naturally Green is to provide excellent customer service paired with outstanding work to build a relationship of trust with you, our clients. Having served the area four plus years, we have had many referrals and testimonials that you can access on our website at www.naturallygreencs.com. Our work sells itself, therefore we have never had any contracts even with our largest commercial accounts. Call us today for your free quote and see what makes our company stand out. Welcome to the UPS store located at 513 Mill Avenue in New Philadelphia across from Newtown Mall in between Staples and Lowe's. We offer UPS shipping, freight services, DHL international shipping, and accept prepaid UPS packages. We carry an array of packaging and moving supplies. Let our certified packaging experts prepare your shipment. We do more than just shipping. We also offer black and white and color copies, mailboxes, faxing and notary service, as well as full service printing. From business cards to yard signs, we print everything in between. Visit us Monday through Friday, 8 to 6.30, or Saturdays, 10 to 4. Welcome back, everybody. I am Chef Sherry Shy, your not-so-shy chef, and back joining me is Chef Tara. So, Chef Tara, Chef Lori made your dough mm -hmm. for the scones. Now, you said this dough can be sweet or a savory. Absolutely. This dough is a great base for anybody to use. Um, it's, it's a great base not only for the, um, for whatever direction you want to take your flavor, if you mm -hmm. want to go sweet or if you want to go savory. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to stick with some sweet. Mm, um, I see that. But along with that, the other nice thing about this dough is depending upon what type of scones you like and what mm -hmm. type of textures you are more accustomed to, Lighter, used to, fluffy, little absolutely, harder, denser. You can create, you can control. Um, exactly oh. how you want your scone. I like that. I like the recipes that you can go back and forth with. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing that you, I've seen you do with this recipe. For those uh, guests who like, they, they call in, they order a traditional type scone, you've made it that thinner, you've made it a little tougher, denser. Mm -hmm. For those that like the light and fluffy scones like myself, you've made them thicker and just airier. Absolutely. All right, so show me what you're going to do here. Okay. She's got that dough all so, ready for you. She's, yes, yeah, she's got the dough. And for this, I we like working with our hands. Mm. So all we need to do is just get this dough out. And 
So you're taking that dough right mm -hmm. out from there, you're putting it on a board, and mm -hmm. all you did was and put a little bit of flour. A little bit of flour, that's all you need. That was it. And can I touch this dough? Absolutely. So it's nice, oh, it's nice and uh, dry, really. I mean, it's it's wet, but it's dry. You see how it's not sticking to my fingers? Mm -hmm. And I don't even have flour on my hands. But it's not greasy, greasy dough either. No, no. Okay. And the more, the, and this is, this is a very delicate stage in the game. Okay. Because we don't want to, um, we don't want to over knead the dough because that's when it's going to become dense. Okay. So don't want to form all that gluten mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like we do when we were making bread or we're making pasta, mm -hmm. something like that. So you're adding a little bit of flour. So just a little bit of flour, just okay. to help me work with it here. Okay. And what flavor are we adding? Because I so see we have blueberries. Today, today we're actually going to do blueberry. Ooh. Um, but we put some other things out here just so you can see, you know, you can take this in, again, so many directions. Yeah. I love it. Um, so all we're going to do, and at this point, it's up to you if you would like to mix these while your batter is still being uh, formed there. Formed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I like doing it afterwards um, just because, again, you have more control of exactly I, I, what you're doing. I like doing. that. I like that. You have more control. And you're, I'm watching you. You're actually putting them in exactly where you want them. Mm -hmm. I, again, it goes back to this is one of those dough recipes where you just take it, you, you, you don't want to overwork it, but nope. you get to place them where you want and then every bite could have fruit in them. Mm -hmm. Where when you and mix this, it all together, you sometimes don't get that. Absolutely. Yeah. And another another you know kind of nice thing about doing this is, I can pick up the blueberries or whatever fruit you decide to use. Mm -hmm. You're not necessarily bringing all that juice in with it. I never thought about that, but that's and that's probably why you see so many recipes call for dried currants, dried mm -hmm. cranberries, dried cherries, dried blueberries, and. Um, yeah, so you won't have that that extra juice, right, like you right. said, which is going to affect your dough. Absolutely. Okay, so now so, you just... So many things at this stage will absolutely affect your dough. Make or break it. Exactly. Make or break it. So all I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit more flour just so I can flip the dough over. Okay. So I have all these blueberries on there. Look at that. This just is, flipping this is it easy over. enough that I could do this, folks. <laughs> It's, and I'm and not it a really, baker. It really is so simple. Okay. I love it when they say that to me, and yet it's really a hard recipe, and they, they say, oh, it's really so simple. It's really not so simple for a non-baker. When you're in, you're either culinary side or your pastry side. Mm -hmm. And I'm very, very culinary side, because I like to throw things in. But this is one of those doughs my that culinary I think side I is do. a grilled cheese. Yeah, I know, but that's okay. Hey, you make awesome. <laughs> Alfredo sauce. I do. <laughs> she really does. In fact, I'm not even allowed to make the Alfredo sauce here anymore. No. She does it. Because I start with a roux and she doesn't like a roux. So she does it the old fashioned way, which I love. All right, so we got All right. the fruit so in now there. We, I think we are good to go. Okay. Now, how we, said, we were talking about what you do to the dough can make a difference. Yes. At this point, typically you want to. Um, get your dough about a half inch thick. Okay, and that's about where you have it mm -hmm. right now. If you want it a little bit um, more dense, mm -hmm. go a little, a little bit thinner. A little harder cook, or yeah. harder go, stone. Go a little bit thinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you um, don't necessarily want it to that thin, mm -hmm. uh, to that denser, and you want a little bit more uh, of a moist scone, right. go, go a little bit thicker. Perfect. Now you're you're shaping it. I am shaping this. So most of the time, you see scones. Um, people have just used cookie cutters and they just cut them out. Mm -hmm. And you said you don't like doing that. No, the downfall of using a cookie cutter is the fact that Which I you're going about this. you're going to have waste. Not necessarily waste, but you're going to help create waste. Exactly. You're going to create. Um, you know, if you take a round cookie cutter and if you're if right. you're um, positioning your forms, mm -hmm. just like a traditional cookie, you're going sure. to have leftovers. Right. You then take those leftovers, knead them together, knead them together, fold so them out, it. do it again. But doing that, you're going to create a dense scone. See, and I, n I never would have thought about that. It's like something I just didn't think about, but I understand mm -hmm. exactly what you're saying. So you've got a really nice rectangle going on there. So here we're not going to get any waste. Correct. All right. So now what are we going to do? Nice and simple. Now you're just going to take your knife. 
cut it down the middle. This is easy. This is so easy. I can do this. You guys can do this. I love giving folks easy recipes that they feel they can be a success at because there's nothing worse than feeling like I can't cook, mm -hmm. I can't bake. It's like, no, everybody has a talent inside them. Exactly. Now, what are you doing here? Now you're just going down through there. Now, all, all I am doing it's just, just cutting it's little triangles. Just, just cutting little triangles. That's it. And at this point, you can cut it and you can create whatever design you want. If Perfect. you want to cut them in squares, cut them in squares. If wow. you want to do triangles, do triangles. It's and really look, your your preference. No waste. There's I mean, you've used every single piece here. Mm -hmm. Wow. And Perfect. if it does stick to if the bad or if the dough does stick to your knife a little mm -hmm. bit, have some extra flour on the side mm -hmm. and just Continue, continue to dip your knife in Again, it. Again, this is so simple. All right, so she's gonna keep cutting this up. We're gonna get the tray, uh, which we're just gonna use parchment paper on the tray, mm -hmm. and we're gonna get that on, and then we're gonna talk about the baking, right? 350, you said? Yep, we're gonna heat up our oven to 350, okay. and you're, we're gonna start out um, by baking them for about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna okay. check them. You wanna make sure it might go over, but it might go under. Okay. Um, you definitely want that light golden brown. Okay, so, perfect. Absolutely. All right, we're gonna get these in the oven and don't go anywhere because you don't wanna miss the rest. Oh my gosh, the eating part's gonna come. With everything always improving, why is our banking falling behind? With monthly service fees and ATMs that take your money right back. Introducing Casasa, free hardworking accounts. You'll earn when you bank and earn when you swipe and get those ATM fees back in your pocket. Free checking with rewards. Carried locally at First Federal Community Bank. Do you Casasa? WJER and TV2 would like to introduce you to a new website, WJERTV2.com, where you can watch exciting high school football, soccer, and volleyball replays from TV2 Sports on your home computer, smartphone, or tablet. Also watch the latest episodes of TV2's original programming, Sports Talk, The Garden Girl, The Not-So-Shy Chef, Off the Record, and Medical Minutes, as well as catch up on local community news and search for local businesses. So make sure to check out the new WJERTV2.com community website where everything's local. Well, welcome back. I am Chef Sherry Shy, your not so shy chef, and joining me now are both pastry chefs. I have Tara and I have Lori. They have been teaching us this morning about scones. scones. <laughs> and your scones are incredible. They're light, they're fluffy, they're airy, they're not dense. We love them. So, Lori, you mixed the dough. Yes. Tara, you folded and cut the dough. Mm -hmm. Now they're baking. We had some that you did for me earlier this morning that's yes. a cinnamon one. Yes. So, but while the other ones are still baking, mm -hmm. you are going to show me how to make a butter, a flavored butter. Yes, yes. And Lori, Chef Lori, you're going to show me how to make Devonshire cream. Correct. Now, we were talking earlier about cream. Mm -hmm. Clotted cream is what you usually hear when you hear of a high tea or tea with scones. You hear clotted cream. Yes. I personally don't like the name clotted cream. Not very attractive. Here, no, it's, here in the States, we, we don't think of that as being no. a very great thing, right. right? Right. And clotted cream basically was unpasteurized milk that they, you said they would cook down. Yes. And then they would chill and pour all that off or skim off all basically the clots. Basically, they're skimming the fat off. Right. And that's what they're right. using. It's just fatty cream. So, you've got a recipe for us that's so much easier and it, yes. it's just it's beautiful and it tastes delicious so your devonshire cream consists of heavy cream gotta love heavy cream it's for everything we use it? heavy yes. cream and a lot of butter yes. but, but you <laughs> know it's, it's, it's healthy it's everything it does but look at the french 
how healthy they are and they eat that way and we here at shy sellers eat that way mm -hmm. we believe in clean eating so you don't need the additives the preservatives so heavy cream caster sugar okay which is granulated sugar that is finely ground okay so if they can't find that you they can, can make it. they can just always make it mm -hmm. in what their food processor yes i seen you do that before i watch That's how I, always do. I watch all right don't so we got it. cream and sugar high quality vanilla mm. we um we're all about the vanilla yes no imitation no imitation no. No. no nope and what is that sour cream sour cream i seen this and i actually thought it was like the devonshire cream already but it's not no, all right not. so teach me how you're going to make this we're going to put the heavy cream in first okay and then we are going to put the sugar in are we making whipped cream maybe ah. Ah. and the vanilla and we are going to whip this until stiff peaks form all right so tara why she's sure got this going on right. while she's working on that chef lori's working on that we were talking about scones and you said not only can you use jams and the the Devonshire cream, right. but you can do butters, flavored mm -hmm. butters. Absolutely. So what do you have? So for the picky eaters at home, like myself, <laughs> you know, this, this, this. this recipe is so great because it's so simple. Um, earlier we did some cinnamon sugar scones. Yes, right here. And all that is was after cinnamon. we made our dough, we rolled it out, good to go, mm -hmm. cut it, mm -hmm. coated it with a little bit of butter, and cinnamon sugar on top. That's easy. That easy. Simple. That easy. And everybody likes cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so. With that, all we're going to do is we're going to mix a little bit of a honey cinnamon butter to go with that. Okay. Make it easy. All right. Get yourself some butter and some honey. Just nice, rich honey. It is Absolutely. so nice. And we use as much Ohio products here at Shy Cellars as we possibly can. We mm -hmm. buy from Ohio Proud Companies, and we actually go out and search out products. And honey is one of them. Yes. So in the summertime, we can get such great honey around us. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, so you've got your honey. Yeah. You've honey. got some softened butter. And butter. And that's all and you're doing. All, all we're going to do is just kind of fold it in together. Mm. She's got this working over here. This is nice. And depending upon what your flavor profile is, you can adjust anything. Okay. Um, you can put more honey, less honey. Um, and if you want to do something other than just cinnamon, if you want to put some brown sugar in it, mm. you can do that as well. Oh, yeah. Keep it, you know. Oh, nutmeg. Per personalize it to the, what you like. You know what you also could do? You could whip this butter with Big Red and add fruit oh yeah fruit mm -hmm. oh yeah and fruit and oh, have definitely. a fruit butter that mm. would be amazing okay so what do you got i you am right now i am at do you see there's called soft peaks soft peaks soft peaks mm -hmm. i'm gonna run this up a little bit faster okay i put them on both sides of me this is so wonderful it I smells get to taste, so good in here i know i get to taste both of these things it's so sweet it does and so now we're going to, yes, now we're going to add the sour cream last. Okay. And then we are going to gently mix this in. Okay. Not fold, just gently mix. Okay, so you're still going to use your beaters. I am. Or your mixer. But all you're going to do is you're going to use it long enough. Oh, I gave you a, a towel You did, there. thank I you. Did. You're welcome. Thank you. And because I know that you bakers get a little messy in the kitchen, <laughs> I am prepared. <laughs> it's Big Red's fault. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> A little one. Okay. <laughs> we have so much fun in our kitchen. It truly really is. We, we all have such a great time. We do. Okay, so Tara, you've got your butter all set. Yes. So you could actually take the butter and put that right there. And then I'm going to let Chef Lori. Oh my gosh, that, is, that was that quick. That was that quick. Just slowly mix it. Yum. So it's just incorporated. And then it is done. It's finished. Can I? Can I reach in front of you? You sure can. And I always have spoons laying around because I want to taste things. So here's what it looks like. Just, that's what it looks like. That is delicious. Who would think sour cream? Would you like to taste it? In whipped cream would be so good. But you know, 
many years ago mm. when the English was doing this with the clotted cream, mm -hmm. it was because those scones were so hard, you needed to soften them yes. up. Mm -hmm. So instead of dipping them in your tea, this is what they would do. And with a fruit Oh my gosh! Scone. I'm gonna get another one. Just I will. So that fabulous. Out. Oh, that would be. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it's a little bit of sourness, mm -hmm. but it's sweet. Oh, it's so good. Ladies, I gotta say something. You have taught me such an easy recipe today, and I thank you for that. And if anybody out there wants the recipes of how easy this is, all you gotta do is email us. Mm -hmm. Just email me at sherry at shysellers.com. We'll be more than happy to get you their recipe. And. Mm -hmm. If there's any other recipes you want, let us know. Mm -hmm. You can check us out on Facebook. Uh, White Velvet Desserts is kind of a sister company mm -hmm. of ours that we do all of the desserts. Mm -hmm. You make them all for Shy Sellers. Absolutely. They can place orders by calling Shy Sellers mm -hmm. for all of your desserts, cheesecakes. Yep. Everything made <sighs> from scratch. From scratch. No, no box mix, no additives. We only Nothing use the frozen. freshest Look quality ingredients. Look at this. Beautiful. These are incredible. You see that? Mm. See how, look at look at how fluffy this is. That is that there? It just it pulls apart. I mean that's just that's fluffy. Oh my god. That's so you're good. making me hungry. I know. I'm <laughs> sorry. But I'm going for another spoon. Yeah, okay. Share. Um, yeah. share, I know, I will. Eventually. I'm putting a little bit of butter on mine. You hey, right here they are. No, I know, I'd have to try that. The mm. and mm -hmm. that. Oh my god. That with the butter is my favorite. The butter is incredible. You can serve these warm or cold. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, ladies, I think it's time to clean up our mess, get those other blueberry scones out of the oven, mm -hmm. and have a little treat. Okay. Sounds great to me. All right, folks. Join us again for the Not So Shy Chef Show, and just remember, have fun in your kitchen. All right, you girls, help yourself.